Hi everyone, my name is Nick Pavlov and I am one of the consultants here at Sintida. In the last video we saw how to convert a CSV file into a table and then we did some analysis using that data from the table. Now what if we have a different file type? For example, Excel files are very common in our line of business. While Excel files are stored in the file section of your lake house, you cannot really use them because you cannot query them. That's why it is better to convert these files into tables. Now remember, if I right click on an Excel file, I don't have that convert to table option like I do with CSV files. They have load to tables option. So to be able to turn an Excel file into table, I need to use a feature called new data flow gen 2. So I will click get data and then select new data flow gen 2. That will open a new window and Power BI users will immediately recognize that this looks very much like a regular Power Query. And in fact that is. This is Power Query but it is in the cloud. So what I will do is I will click to get data again. And now instead of choosing this Excel workbook, what I will do, I will go to more and open an additional window, view more, and that is going to open all of the available connectors using which I can connect to data sources, right? There are a lot of different things. I don't even know half of these to be honest, right? But I am interested in uh, a lake house here. This is the lake house connector that I need. I'll select it. Now in the connect data source window, uh, you can create a new connection to your lake house, but I don't have to do that because I already have a connection created. So I will click next and wait a little bit while it is connecting to my lake house. And in my lake house folder, I have this fabric workspace. So I'm going to click that and then I am going to select my demo lake house. That's the lake house where my file is located. I'll go to files and I will select my Excel file, Superstore Excel. And I will create a data flow. Press create. Once you're on this page, you can go to advanced editor if you want. And you can see the exact M code of all of the steps that you took to import your Excel workbook. Once I'm in this page, I will expand my data. And from the Excel file, I will grab that table. So I will select all of the columns that I have, and then I will click OK. And this will extract my data from my tables. Those of you who know how to use Power Query, right, you can go ahead and transform and add columns and do other modifications, right? For this example, what I, I, I will not be doing any modifications except I will use uh, the function called use row as, use the first row as headers because you can see that my headers are now used as the first row. So my columns are called column one, column two, etc. So instead of that, what I want to do is I will use the function called use first row as headers and once that is done normally there's a button in power bi which is called uh, load and complete right something like that i can't remember exactly now but here what we need to do is we, we need to press the button called publish and now this is going to push my table into uh, my lake house i just need to wait when my data flow will get updated and when this is completed, I should be able to go to my data lake and be able to see that, that Excel file as a table, converted into a table. Let me go to my demo data lake. Here's my table. And now I can see that all of my data from Excel file has been pushed to the table. And now this table is also in my tables section, right? So in this video, I showed you how to, um, how to take an Excel file, upload it into the files section into, in my lake house, and then using the new data flow gen 2 feature, which looks very similar to Power Query, I was able to push this file and turn it into a table uh, in the Delta Parquet format. Obviously the Superstore Excel, I don't like this name, so I will just rename this. And this will be Superstore Excel table and now I have two identical tables in my tables folder 
one of them was done from a CSV file and the other one was converted from an Excel file. Thank you for your time and in the next video we will continue looking at the data lake features. Until then, have a good day and I will talk to you later.